even though the official, official Israel decided to suspend Palestinian-Israeli contacts. I think it's, it's very important that uh, we keep these contacts. And I'm um, very disappointed that uh, not all of us, Palestinian participants, have been able to make it. I'm disappointed because I have to replace one of the speakers, but I'm also disappointed because uh, the two speakers who were not able to make it today uh, were coming from Gaza. And I think it's uh, given the nature of the political developments uh, in Israeli-Palestinian relations and the Israeli disengagement plan, it would have been extremely important for us, for you, to hear the views of those Palestinians who are coming from Gaza, because those views, I think, are even more important than the views of, of us uh, who are living in the West Bank. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm very grateful that we are able to continue to uh, hold this conference. I'm, I'm grateful to the Steinmetz Center for the work we have been doing during the last three years. For the last three years, we have been organizing meetings for Israelis and Palestinians in which the Israeli public in particular has been exposed to Palestinian uh, scholars and researchers who have been doing research on Palestinian political, social, economic life. And I think this kind of work is, is the kind of work that helps both societies understand each other and I'm, I'm not going to take a long time in this introduction. Let me just say that what we've decided this time to do is to um, deal with the issue of partnership. Um, this is an extremely important issue because it affects our future, our life. And we're not looking at the issue of partnership just from the perspective of the leaders, although we think this is important. But it's not just a question of, of, of Arafat or, uh, or Sharon. We, as you can see from the program we have, we're looking at the issue of partnership from three different perspectives. The first perspective that we will be looking at in, in the session immediately after this is the prevailing political conditions. We're trying to examine the issue of whether the passing of Arafat, the holding of the first thousand uh, presidential elections, uh, the, the Israeli um, new government uh, with Labour joining in. Well, these prevailing political, domestic political conditions have changed things for us, Israelis and Palestinians, in such a way that perhaps we see them helping rather than hindering. This is an open question, and I hope that our remarks um, in, in, the, in this session will shed some light on this issue. And I know many of you would like us to be optimistic. I'm a little more optimistic than I was certainly six months ago. And certainly the Palestinian and Israeli publics are more optimistic today than they were six months ago. But I think this is an open question. And, and the second area we decided is important to understand this question of partnership is public opinion. Whether Israelis and Palestinians are indeed at a stage where they are willing to accept very painful compromises that would be essential. Uh, if the two sides are to indeed find a partnership. And the third issue that uh, we're looking at is the question of whether uh, the outside world could also be helpful in terms of cementing or helping um, perhaps fill some of the gaps in this partnership issue. The last session we are planning for you today is, is one where we bring in politicians. So if we tried as academics and researchers to be rational, looking at issues from the different angles. Uh, when we bring the politicians, of course, that's where it's really at the end of the day, this is where it matters, because politicians make decisions. Academics, logic, researchers do not make decisions. And at the end of the day, they will be making the hard decisions themselves. And they who have to, con particularly those who would have to confront their publics because they need to get elected, they have to make those tough decisions. So we hope that the day, as we have planned it for you, is going to be useful. And I, again, want to thank the university for organizing it despite uh, the difficult conditions. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Khalil. <laughs> and uh, now I would like to ask... Sarah,